Hey, this is Shabbats, and I'm back, and in Factory Town Tycoon, tree factories all set up, and I think I already showed that. And these are my fake things that bring up the water from the ground. See, there's the bubbles of water. They were blue before, but anyway, it changed back. I don't know if I've shown this. Oh, the, yeah, so anyway, check this out. You can't do this with wood pillar, but stone pillar, you can change the color and also the texture to all the same menu as the walls, right? So anyway, that looks like water to me. And the same with the carpet. There's two textures to choose from. I thought this looked more like water, so I left that. See? Oh, yeah, and then these were blue as well. And this, oh yeah, so the wood planks, I changed those to the same thing. And that to cyan, that was my watercolor I decided. So there, see there's my water pool from the ground. And it feeds up into the tree area. That's my role play um, excuse for this game, or what I built. And since it's damp here, because of all the water, you need this damp looking chandelier hanging in our damp cavern area that should be all closed in with glass when I'm done or something. Oh yeah, and the glass. Check this out. I don't think I showed this at all. So check that out. Anywho, like I said, this is working good. It drops logs and it feeds where I want them. So from here, I'm going to... Then here's my next goal. Like I had built, you know, I'm all over the place, but I, I pulled it all back in. And that's why I built the tree harvester here because I wanted everything tightened up in a building area. I like, I got away, from, I always kept this area here, right? I've shown this 20 times. But everything else was kind of drifting as I built things. You know, next thing I knew that, that was the towers and everything I was building was way down here. So, you know, I'd carry a box of nails. Eventually, I built a bucket and shoved nails in there, whatever. So I want to bring it all back home to here. And I this gives me this big area. I can have actually one more saw if I want. I can take this off, as we know. I've shown before, out of my loop. Pack that thing up. And now I have... Actually, I'm going to reverse this whole loop because of that. What I just... This is going to go feed this way and drop here not the direction it's pointing currently. So I can drop a log here for pillars, drop a log here for planks, and they will drop here, and whatever I'm building here, because this is going to be nails again, I changed these because of that. I found that having my nails right here was too far from everything here. So now my nails are here, and I have a little bit better access point to them. All this area. So, now my next thing is to have all the various woods available here. So this one will probably be pillars, then I'll build like another one here that's plank. So I've been trying to work this this morning. And what I eventually, so I have this advanced pillar, uh, excuse me, advanced splitter, where you can set the ratios. And this should be zero over here currently because there's nothing there. And one over here. And I first put it right here, and then I started building my idea. But what I found is this, you see the, the choices build extract storage rack. So there's no place to just drop it on the conveyor. So what I did is I set this to max. So if, when my logs harvest, it will go on the trail. And if I, if this, if I'm not using this, I just change this value up and the logs will start going back into here or here, whichever one. It's actually the middle one right now. Okay. So the first problem I noticed, I didn't have a feed area just to feed a log whenever I wanted to, to test this thing or if I specifically wanted like that. So, so right. Because you can't pull from these things. I've tried taking the sorter and I put it here. It won't pull, of course. I put it here. Oh, wait. Yeah, see, that's what I was just trying to do. Wouldn't that be cool? It would really automate things. But anyway, 
That's for another time. Because I got some ideas. I happen to have somebody I talk about with this game that's really smart, and they come up with the best ideas, so... Okay, so this is going to split. It is going to go to here. It's going to go to here. Oh, my barrel's in the way. Let's pretend it's perfect. Pretend. Um, what I noticed is this sort... Not sorter. Is that the right word? Yeah, the sorter can't drop perpendicular here. No, it can't drop perpendicular. What happens is it hits the rail. And in fact, let's, let me take this one down. Because what I wanted to do was drop, pick up glass, glass, Assemble item box. Okay, what am I showing this? Okay, so as far as I can put it up is here. Now when I put something in here, let's say I put a log, a log, a log. I love those menus. They're really nice looking. No, 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 no. Come back here, you. Oh, shock the monkey. It's a pillar now. Okay, you pick this up for me. <laughs> what do I drop it? Ah, hi, it worked. So you see, you need some kind of a, a T joint. And I, anyway, I wanted to do that exact thing I'm doing here. And I had it sit up right here to drop glass, but it didn't work, of course, because it hit the rail. Now, of course, if you overload it, Pieces will spill, but, pff, right? Ain't happening that way. Come on, you. Where's my sweet spot? Oh, yeah, you got to face away from everything else for this one. There you go, see? Okay, so that was that idea done. Not good. And this, what fell in here? A log. Once again, see what I'm doing? How fast I can pack up, move, make adjustments. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Gotta love that uh, functionality. Okay, so I'm gonna pack that up. You can use move, but I I'm, that wasn't available right away, and I'm so used to using the pack function that I just use that. Occasionally, I, now move will preserve the colors. So if I was moving like this over a little bit, I would want to move it rather than pack it so I don't have to reapply any textures or colors. And then there's a countdown timer for it. So use it wisely. Now, now this is looking better. And then this is where this is going to go. Whatever, go there for now. No, I only got 10 of these on the ground, but okay, one's going to be in the way. Assemble. And now you always got to, not always, but you've got to compensate for some lag. And occasionally, you know, it's going to lag right here and, and a log is going to shoot out. So you can put another storage shed, a logs crate, or just say whatever, whatever logs lay on there that didn't make it through the system, just pick them right back up and throw them on your uh, system to make a pillar. So let's try this thing out and see what happens now. So that's why I, anyway, I think what I started with, I said I had the splitter here, but I didn't have a feed station. So now I do, I just put a regular conveyor and I can place it on there and test my system. Okay, see? Now I have pillars in my little building area. Nails, not a log. Nails. And this is crates. And I can have one of those sorters here to pick it up. That's what I'm going to do, and it'll put it in a bucket. So I'll have access to wood frames is the correct term that, you know... 
used in everything, just about in all of these conveyor corners, in this, in that, and everything. Okay, back to this. So this is done. So now, now if a wood makes it through, I doubt it will. If it does, it can fall on the ground, but I might, you could always make a little loop here to loop it around. Now my next thing is build another splitter. Because when I was thinking about it, oh no, no, wait. So now you see what I want is this. To build backwards from here, I think. Like, let's say this is here. Now from here, okay, I'm going to put a log in here for testing. Now I'm here building something. Log. Now that I want to be planks. And it's pretty that they're in the same plane as in nice and parallel and perpendicular to the line. So now what I want to do is I want to backtrack two saw, right? One, nope, that's a short ramp. That's a sorter. Somewhere around here is a saw. I was making, I had it all kind of together. Where is a saw? Saw, saw. Yeah, there's a saw. And so I need one saw. Bam. Oh, yeah. See how I don't have a green or red right now? It comes back. Um, on that note, when I was building all of this, and actually when you're building the second floor, and I happen to know one of these is right nearby, right? So, sometimes, like right there, there's no color, and it might even be red, but you know that fits there. So just hit the build button. And I've had times when it is red, but I know for a fact that, okay, that floor, it fits and it goes there. And I will just hit the build button and it builds it for me. So if it's red and you know it goes there, try it. Now, we need one more saw. Is that a saw? No, it's a sorter. Saw? No, saw? Oh, saw. Assemble. Oh, this video is carrying on for longer than I wanted to. It takes too long to upload to YouTube. Uh oh. So you see what we need already? Either move the whole system over a tad or a curve. So basically, I'm going to repeat what I did here. There's going to be a capture mechanism, the sorter that I'm holding in my hand. It's going to face the same direction. It is going to sort another log. The same length, because it's still going to be log. There's no cutting on. Last time I tried to pre-cut things, and it was like, poof, forget about it. So let's pretend that goes there. I'm going to have two saw, and they're going to feed into this thing. So maybe I'll just turn this around. Right? And that'll take care of my problems right there. It can still be in a nice little line. And I might... Oh, yeah, look. And I know I don't have access to the button from here. Let's check this out. Because you can't move these things when they're full of stuff. So this is not good. Because I can't down make them go down do i care for this i ask myself i'm gonna ask myself if i care if this gets full do i ever need to lower this and if i don't i'm gonna build it right here with two saw and this and that's it i'm gonna work on this project thanks for watching thank you all i've met so many cool friends in this game lately i meant to say and nice people on YouTube posting comments and the developer I met and he posts comment on my YouTube and the group, you go to the group on the game and there's people offering suggestions and the developer encourages it. 
So there's a nice little community to building up around this game. And thank you. Because it makes it playing a lot of fun.